Emperor Thorazane, probably the biggest legendary to have come out of an adventure, and a damn good one it is. This card has one of the best card effects in the game, which lowers the mana cost of every card in your hand by one, which effectively gives you a mana crystal for every card in your hand. If you think of it this way, Innovate is a zero cost card that gives you two mana crystals for that turn only. Thorazane is a six cost card that could theoretically give you nine mana crystals or more permanently. And not only this, but you also get a 5-5 minion alongside it. This is what makes this card so good for pretty much any deck, and also why you can play it in almost any deck that you want. And that is why Thorazane is the 5th most played card in Hearthstone. Azir Drake. This card is much more boring than Thorazane, and yet it's still played more. So why is this? Well, this is because of this card's amazing flexibility and value. Azure Drake is a 5 cost 4 4 card which draws you another card and gives you plus 1 spell damage. This works in spell decks because not only does it draw you another spell, but also strengthens said spell. This also works in mid range decks because even if you don't have many spells, this card is still good because it is a 4 4 for 5 that draws a card, which allows the player to keep board control without running out of steam. This card isn't played too much in control decks, but still, this card remains as the 4th most played card in Hearthstone. The fact that this card is in the classic set as well also makes it even more popular, as it won't be rotated out like most other cards. Sludge Belcher, a control player's best friend. This card is arguably the best torn in the game, for a variety of reasons. The stats on this guy total up to 4-7, and considering this card has taunt and costs 5, this makes it even more valuable than it already is. The fact that this card is also split into 2 makes it even more effective, because it will always take 2 hits to remove it, unless it gets silenced. And considering silence has been nerfed heavily in recent times, this makes this card even more effective in wild mode. Unfortunately for standard mode players, as they had to say goodbye to their sludge belchers when whispers of the old gods came around, but this card remains as an old control favourite. Pilotage Shredder one of the only cards to surpass Yeti in terms of value. This card is a 4 cost 4-3 four which summons a 2 cost minion upon death, and with an ability like this, you can only imagine this card to be great value. The Shredder is the king of mid-range decks, due to its relatively low cost and fantastic value. Not only all of this, but the card is also a mech, which allows it to combo with all manner of other cards, such as Mech Warper, Iron Sensei, Goblin Blast Mage, Power Mace, etc. This card is unfortunately not playable in standard mode anymore, but it will always be remembered as one of the best minions in the game. Dr. Boom. I'm sure that most of you saw this coming, and why wouldn't you? Dr. Boom is the best legendary released in Hearthstone to this day. This is because of this card's supreme value and ultimate flexibility. Dr. Boom is a 7 cost 7 7 card. Sounds average, right? WRONG! Upon being summoned, the Doctor will proceed to summon two 1 1 mech. Boom bots that deal 1 to 4 damage to a random enemy upon death. Not only does this technically make Dr. Boomer 7 cost 9 9, but it also makes for fantastic flexibility in terms of what you do with the boom bots. Sometimes you may want to use them to clear the board, and sometimes you may want them to do extra damage to your opponent's face. Hell, if you're a warlock and you have 2 power overwhelmings, then you could theoretically do 25, yes, 25 damage to your opponent in one turn. Dr. Boom has been removed in standard mode nowadays, but he will not be forgotten by the players that loved him, or the players that hated him. That's it for this list guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!